Okay, so we left uh, the island, which I still can't pronounce. We left the island, we got on the ferry, we ferried over, um, and as we were leaving the little port where the ferry is, um, we were trying to cross the street and we were doing it wrong, at least that's what we thought, and a gentleman hollered to us, no, 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 not there, not there, and told us to go to the stoplight. So we went to the stoplight and as we're crossing, there's two buses there. And we thought that they were the public transportation buses, and they were not. They were, I don't know if they're privately owned. I think owned. they're private buses, but they still run the same routes. Yes. But they're much more aggressive. Yes, and it was incredibly uncomfortable. You got on the bus, and we were the third people on the bus. And so we were waiting. They made, They waited until the bus was full. And in public transportation, they just go. It's not like that. Right, and actually a police officer on a motorcycle pulled uh, uh, pulled up, was talking to our bus driver, got him off the bus, was talking to another bus driver, and uh, then there was a couple other young gentlemen who, I don't know, worked for the company or yeah. worked, were just on the bus and they were waiting. The other guy jumped into the driver's seat and was about to leave. And it was just kind of very unnerving. Yes. And then as they're driving, they're blowing past all these other bus stops. I mean, no, there wasn't people standing there waiting, but if you were trying to get off at those stops, you couldn't because they just drove right past it. And not slow. No, they're, they're moving rapidly. And then another bus driver pulls up next to them. City and, bus. And they're in a screaming contest, flipping the bird, calling them that nasty names. nasty words because you know what the nasty words are in spanish so and it was just this big old thing and it was just very uncomfortable so we'll do a better job of getting on just the city buses next time yes we'll make sure so that's something you should should pay attention to when you come to a foreign country is making sure and and i've heard this on so many different vlogs so many different travel sites and and you know that kind of thing is to make sure you're familiar with the public transportation and at that what had happened was we were so exhausted when we got off of the ferry and coming through and it has been a whole day of no thank you no thank you no thank you that they we fell for it we I, we didn't even I didn't it was even a bus. it was a bus I wasn't even thinking and that's what they do they catch you off guard they it's high pressure and you think you're gonna miss the bus they're all right let's go let's go let's go and so you you think you're going to oh I've lesson learned yes. well so. look for the uniform uh, another uh, couple we were talking to when we got off the death bus <laughs> pointed out uh, that they didn't realize it either but the gentleman was just in jeans and a white t-shirt who was driving our bus and they said that um, the city bus, their employees have a uniform. Yes. So we will definitely make sure we look for the uniform. Yes, and taxis are clearly marked. And they're typically all the same color. Um, on the island, they were all red and some were white. Red, so red, all red cars and all white cars. And here, they're all white. Right. Um, but they are marked. You know it's a taxi. There's numbers in the window. You know it's a taxi. So that was really unnerving. Um, the other people that were got off at our same stop when we all got off it it was it was a relief it was almost like you wanted to just get off anywhere yes because it was ter terrifying yes and then screaming back and forth and i know things are close when they pull out but these people were just cutting people off changing from the left lane to the right lane to the bus stop area just in one big old Cutting off other buses, yes. it, it was really uncomfortable. Flip, like I said, flipping them the bird yeah. and all that stuff. I just yeah, we, so we'll be better prepared next time. Yes. So just so, a, a warning for you. Yes. So be very careful. Um, you know, you're in a foreign country. So first of all, if you don't speak the language, you're you, you just you, you really just be careful. If you don't speak the language, it can be very confusing, and that's that has what has happened to us a couple of times. You know, I've mentioned to him that we really need to learn some more Spanish. And not, not just basic Spanish, but communication. We need to be able to communicate because we intend to come back here. 
Um, and this is awesome. Yes, I we intend, love this place. Yes, I, I intend for this to be a yearly thing for us, um, at least. At least once. At least once, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe twice. Maybe twice a year, right? So um, to see the, how the time sharing goes. Right, and and see what um, what's it, what it's like different times a year because it is quite warm. Yes. If you are sensitive to heat, it do it, not come here. Do not come in June. June. <laughs> <laughs> it's shocker. Yeah. Well, I mean, today's high was 87. It felt, and I'm from Texas. We're from Texas. We are used to hot and humid. This is a whole other level of hot and humid. Well, that and, you know, at home, you know, you're running someplace. Yeah, you're, you're not inside, out for long. Yeah, I mean, we were outside all hours, day. Hours, hours, yes. I had a great time, though. Had a fantastic Beach time. Beach was awesome. Yes. Yes. So if the golf cart was cool, the golf cart was fun. Of course, we were in in the you know the slowest cart there was, but that's okay. We still had fun. <laughs> we that's had a blast. Yeah. So and it's nice because if you want the calmer waters, you can just ferry across to the island, and the water over there was crystal clear and calm. And there were a lot of people, but it wasn't uncomfortable. I didn't find it uncomfortable. No, I didn't think it was overly crowded. No. And of course, we just took a peek at North Beach. We didn't really explore it very much. Next time. Next time we'll explore it. And I'll be looking for videos on it on uh, YouTube because, you know, that's how you learn to travel. That's what you learn, what you like and want to do and get the experiences from people like us and other people doing it. And, you know. I talked to my brother and if he hasn't been there, we YouTube it. Right. Yes. His brother frequently comes to Cancun. And travels. Travels extensively. extensively. Um, so, yes. And then, so we got back to the hotel. We came in and we took a shower. Yes. We removed the day's sea salt and sweat. <laughs> and then we went to dinner. And um, I didn't bring the camera for dinner. And I really wish that I had. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. I was exhausted. And so I just thought, you know what? We'll just not have the camera tonight. I'll but I'll insert pictures. I'll insert some pictures. This restaurant, <laughs> it all, I mean, I almost cried. I was so excited because. I love Mexican food, Tex-Mex Mexican food. Um, here in Cancun, it is Mexican food. And guacamole is delicious, pico de gallo is delicious, I, and that is basically what I've lived on. There's no queso. Yeah, there's no chili con queso, there's there's no actual salsa. Salsa is not like liquid, not pico de gallo. It's more solid. Yeah, I'm not sure what people have in other states in Texas, other states other than Texas, but Tex-Mex is very different, so. And we like it. We like it. Well, they know. I mean, yes. we always eat Tex-Mex. Yeah. Um, so. Lopez needs to open a yes. restaurant down here so <laughs> we can come. So it's been a little difficult for me to find foods I could eat, and then I would be, I'm afraid, kind of, to try things because I don't really know what's in them, and I don't, I made the mistake of having gluten a couple of weeks ago, and I, I won't do that again, so never do it again <laughs> the lesson was learned so um I, I you know I've been very apprehensive because I don't want to lose a day of vacation because I accidentally eat something so the place we went tonight had tonight was Italian pizza pasta type of stuff and they had uh, gluten-free pasta and they would do a gluten-free pizza also yes so. so basically anything on the menu other than like lasagna or um, there was a couple of things that, you know, they, they would have to freshly make in the morning. So there's no way to really make that gluten-free for the off chance that somebody comes in right. who's needing it. So um, they made pasta for me, and it was fantastic. It was so good. And so I actually ate dinner tonight. And your and, salad. Oh, caprese salad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it was so delicious. The mozzarella was so tender oh it was so good anyway i took pictures his pizza he got a sausage and peppers pizza yeah we got the caprese salad they brought him some bread at the beginning and then i had um the pasta yum yes it was delicious so it is 9 11 at night 
close to bedtime. And then we are about to, um, we had to go to the mall and get some sun after sun because... We got toasty. Yes. So, um, even with sunblock, that's another thing. The sunblock that you are required to use for a lot of places is biodegradable sunblock. Lessons on that is, one, put it on well before you go out. So, 20 minutes, 30 minutes before you go out. Do not reapply when you're sweaty. Dry yourself off completely. Dry yourself off if you've come in from the water and immediately reapply after you're dry. Um, he reapplied probably 10 times today and a couple of times, three or four times on me. But if you are damp or sweaty, it's ineffective. So we are burned. Me more so than him because I'm a pain and I don't like the feeling of sunblock. I can't stand the way it feels. I put it on before we left and she didn't. And I didn't because I didn't want to ride in the bus and on the ferry all the way over there without with that Don't feeling. I can't stand it. So, um, lesson learned. Lesson learned. She'll deal with it tomorrow. Yes, I will. I will suffer tomorrow. So anyway. All right. Well, uh, we will see you in the morning. Tomorrow's X caret, X caret all day. Yep. Should be fun. It'll be a great vlog. See ya. Good night. We're going to bed. <laughs>